Good morning, guys. This is Friday, August 20th. No, 30th. Tomorrow's the last day of August. Thank you, baby Jesus. Anyway, so I was cutting back some of the apple tree seedlings that I had grafted last late winter, early spring. And because uh, they were growing like gangbusters and kind of flopping over with the wind because there was just too much weight on their lower root system. So I cut them back. Uh, and I was going to throw away the parts that I had cut off. And then I had a thought. Maybe I can trim these up and save them, put them in the refrigerator, and see how viable they are for next winter. Just in case either those seedlings don't come back or one of my other trees decides it wants to go, you know, toe up from a freeze or something like that. So what I've done is just taken cuttings from each tree. I got little labels. I'm cutting off the leaves from each stem and then cutting each stem into usable sections. Now these aren't the thickest but you just never know. Uh, these, the Maiden's Blush, they're a little bit thicker, so those are probably going to do this. This single one from Tolman, Crapshoot, I'm not even going to cut it into more usable pieces because, you know, I want to keep it as viable as possible. And now I'm working on my Wolf River seedlings. Uh, this is part of the reason why I wanted to cut this one back because this was a branch that was going like this and it was tipping the whole plant over. It had the little shade cloth that I had underneath it uh, or on top of it. It was growing up past it and then trying to grow out from under it. So I figured it was time to give them a little trim, a little haircut. So get the Wolf's River buttoned up, get them in a Ziploc bag with a damp but not sopping paper towel, keep a check on it, and we'll see how we do it. And we'll see, hopefully, if I can remember that they're in there, do a follow-up next spring. And, see if I can find a part that doesn't shade out. So pretty much all of the little seedlings, or not seedlings, but the cuttings, that I just didn't have enough room to groove with them. Uh, they pretty much all died. I tried, attempted putting them into the ground and hoping that they would root. Pretty much all of them did die back, except, okay, ignore that, that's a golden marguerite that I need to pull up. Uh, now some of these are dead, but some of these like this guy and this guy, so there's quite a few, uh, little cuttings in here that still have their leaves after four or five months. So I'm just going to let them have room to groove. I think part of it may be because it's protected by this, uh, this side of the compost pile here with a wooden pallet. Um, got a little bit more shade, maybe had a little bit more access to damp soil. We've had such a dry. This is like I said, the 30th of August, and I've had less than an inch of rain all month. It wasn't so bad when it was, you know, in the low 80s, which I was enjoying for a while. But uh, we're back up. It's going to be mid-90s today. Supposedly we get a temperature break this weekend, but you know how that goes. So these are my little grafted seedlings that I've cut back. This is my Wolf River that was toppling over, and I've got a, a bamboo stake and a little zip tie to kind of keep them up. I'm going to come back later. Hopefully it's supposed to rain this weekend as well. Let it rain in real good, and then I'm going to get some soil and pack it in there and just kind of uh, stabilize them. Because you can see this one over here, the little roots are exposed. Try and pull this around just so it doesn't dry out too badly. But, ah, uh, gardening. Now the only tree that actually did do what it was supposed to do was this 
man this is an heirloom variety um it's going straight up hasn't started spreading yet so i'm just gonna let that go for right now i may top it yeah i don't know i am gonna have to strip some of the leaves from the bottom so it's a little bit higher up so i don't have to stoop over and trip over branches kind of sort of have already done that on the other four but i'm gonna let this little stalk go but that's it so apple tree seedling doings mostly successful five out of five grafted tree seeds trees young trees successful we'll see if they survive the winter so far they're doing pretty good um, I have to wonder I had this cloth spread over them when they were itty bitty so I'm wondering if maybe giving them shade early on in their life kind of helped protect them because you got some a little bit bug damage but for the most part for late August they're looking pretty good not a whole lot of disease considering they're heirlooms I have not sprayed these guys so I'm gonna count it as a success and I'm also gonna hope these little granny smith seedlings some of them at least amount to something I kind of sort of want to pull one up and see if there's any roots developing but I kind of sort of don't just in case that's the only one that would have survived you know what I'm saying so we'll see in the spring all right that was it